Hello everybody and welcome back to a video and today I'm going to be showing you guys my spider grinder and how I made it. There we go. It is somewhat automatic. Oh great, do I have to break that? Oh great. Okay, looks like there's a glitched item. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to make the spider grinder. This one has two spawners. It took like a whole day just to build this. I'm very proud. It's the first ever grinder I've designed myself. So yeah, let me turn on. Not turn on. Um, put some lights in there so I can show you. Probably going to die since it's a spider grinder. And spiders are very vicious. Oops, that's not the way in. Guess there is no way in, never mind. So, yeah, I think you'll get the main idea. So, there's just water pushing the spiders and a lot of spiders. The spawners are up there. Took a while to do the water because that was somewhat of a pain to deal with. And sometimes, once in a while, one would spawn in, so... One of my friends helped me, also. Same with that one, it's just a little bit smaller, and it's down a little further. They just both all go into this one tunnel. And I just plug in my... or turn on my other controllers, and then it just does the work for me. Or they do suffocate in the wall, and then it pushes the items anyway so I don't have to I'll just come back and once they have hoppers well once I update it then I'll be able to uh, make it to where the stuff falls into the hopper not just me having to go collect it and we also have the sound system for just to notify me whenever there's some loot coming from the the spider grinder thing. So yeah, it's, it's pretty simple design. It took a while since this is in survival. Just want to show you that mainly. And this is in the old 404 challenge world, which I did with my friend. Sorry about the audio back then. I got a new microphone. Finally. Hopefully head over to the 404 area. We ended the 404 challenge. I accidentally deleted the video, so I didn't get to show you. So we added a lot. We added a storage room. I think I showed that. A We moved out of this room. We went above ground. We have a kitchen over there now. We're no longer using the cave system. This is just a, an exit over there. And the old... Uh, cobblestone generator and everything. That was fun. Also, we added the living room. We got rid of the tree farm, sadly. It was not working at all. <laughs> we need to make it a bit bigger, because it was small, the trees weren't growing, and it was just a waste of space. Then, uh, we added another portal with a few different rooms. I'll show you guys that. It's not that bad. It's where my friend stays the most. We have windows for watching out and some other things also. More rooms. We're gonna add a chest room. Oh great. Uh, looks like it was blown up right there. Maybe a chest room up there in the future. This just turned into a survival world. No longer much of a challenge. Since we've got full diamond armor. Uh, as you can see. and Just everything we would want. Like cookies. We duplicated a lot of this. We didn't go into creative. We just duplicated. Just a glitch in the game. Speaking of that. I'll show you guys how to duplicate. With the new furnace glitch which 
doesn't work all the time. Oh yeah, I added this new rail system up to the area up here. Yeah, now we have a home up here. It's decent. It's nice. Probably gonna change. I know it's not the best looking, but inside it's it's good for a survival count. Then we got our Donkey Kong, the uh, swimming pool, uh, third, li second living room, I think. <laughs> Bathroom. Let's see. Does the water work now? Ah. <gasps> oh. Okay. I forgot that it doesn't work in dispensers yet. It's in the computer version. Oops. Bad thing about that is I always fall in the swimming pool. If I'm just walking around the house with swim trunks, since the skin has swim trunks, I think I'll be fine. I'm not gonna change the skin. Let's see, what do I want to be? Hmm. Sorry about the controller clicking. I'll be Trials guy. I play Trials. It's fun. Okay, I added a new room. This is my room. And over here is Red Hyena's room. Basically identical to mine, but I added blue wool. And mine was a little bit bigger since we added on another half to the house. We did try to record it, but I ended up, the computer ended up unplugging and, well, it didn't save because I was going somewhere also. Oops, wow, what is this? Cocoa beans? That does not look like cocoa beans. All right, diamond chest. Over here is my rose room with the balcony. Sadly, I tried to update it to the new version and it made it into a snow biome, so I'm just going to stay into this old version until I upload it to Xbox One. And hopefully the Better Together update, finally. Can't wait until that comes out. I, I like to play in the old update until then. Yeah. Let me go to the other floors. Let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have a kitchen over here. And then a dining room. It's a nice dining room. We have a, a view of the kitchen. Not kitchen. The... What's it called? I can't even remember. The living room. Then we got the balcony up here. Which is the most used balcony. Unlike the others. see. We have a bunch of balconies. It doesn't really matter if I show you all of them. Did I do all the downstairs? Let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have a store, another storage room. Not too much in here. We're not using it very much. We have a boat dock so that, well, we're living on a lake, so I guess we're going to need a boat dock. We also added a bigger farm outside and a CD trap. I've already gotten a few CDs now. Oops, I forgot. You have to do the left trigger in order to get out of a boat. Okay, so... Oh, come on, it auto-saves. Sorry about that, I did not remember that I had autosave on. And it was just saving right now. Wow, it took forever to save back then. Yeah, let me think, what was I going to do that autosave completely messed me up on what I was doing? This is the room with no requirement. Uh, let me think. Let us see. Oh yeah, the CD trap. Okay, up in my room, 
Uh, I think you might have saw that I have a CD uh, music box thing, jukebox. Nice. The only uh, music discs we have are 13 and Cat, which isn't that bad. I like them both, except for 13 is kind of creepy. I guess we'll go back down to the 404 challenge I'll area. I'll show you what else I did. I think there's a little bit more to the house. It's quite a big house. Turned from a challenge to more of a survival account. We'll have to get out and push. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Um, also, I've been mining a lot and digging, blast mining. So now we have a gigantic mine with a lot of stuff. So slimes spawn down here sometimes. It's a rare occasion, but they do spawn. Yeah, so it goes off in a lot of different directions. Farther than the render distance will go. Let's see what else. This is another entrance to the grinder. It's not that bad. To have another entrance instead of just a ladder or two ladders. Oops, I gotta break the torch so I don't forget to do that later. Oh no. Cover that up so that they all spawn more efficiently. I'll add another torch there. So we've gone pretty far in this world. We were just digging randomly in this area and then we saw that there were spiders. Oh yeah, 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 here it is. Here's the way up originally to the grinder. We went up here. Yeah, I remember this. This is maintenance also. I also went all the way around here. Let's see. Yeah, that is. I remember that. This is how we found it. We were digging because we heard a bunch of spiders. And then, yeah, we just found a grinder. Let me see if this takes us anywhere. I forgot. Yeah, we were planning on doing a lot more mining than just this. Ow. Alright, it looks like it does not go anywhere. Oh, that's quite nice. A new cave to explore. That's new. Okay. Alright, we'll go back to the spawn area. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.